back again and after doing a little bit of research, discovered why nothing seems to be happening here. This has to be surrounded by lava. So, I think that means it's time to go get some water. What are we going to need? We're going to need a pickaxe. Yes. Uh, I'm going to take this raw iron. I'm going to, well, that should be enough wood. I'm going to take this. I don't know if I can do anything with wooden slabs. Let me find out. Can't turn them back into blocks. Okay. I'll take them anyway. I don't think they're going to be any use. The glass and sand probably don't need. Leaves, no, I'm not going to need that. The apple, yeah, I'll definitely take that. Dirt, I don't need that. I got those in stone. There are no mobs, so I don't need any weapons. That'll give me more wood and sticks. You know, I think I'm just going to chop down one or two trees before I go looking for lava. Now, the big question is, where am I going to find lava? It's always best if you can find an existing cave rather than hollowing out your own new cave. So, we'll use F9 here to change the map to the underground view. And now the bright green on that map is air. So currently, I have a lot of air around me. And as I get lower, this will progressively change. And we'll see it getting to darker colors. Okay, we're in here now. I know we were in here before. And I'm not seeing anything that necessarily looks like it's going to be a cave tunnel coming out. So I will exit here. There is a jungle to this direction. Um, got my hands in my axe. Looks like somebody was in here. But not really thinking this is much of a... No, not much of a cave. I really need something that's going to go deep. So I need lava. And that's something that I'm going to find deep. So I'll keep heading off in this direction, I think. Uh, I need a cave. I need a cave. It's going to be hard to find a cave. I'm above ground. Ooh, this could be promising, maybe. This looks like just a big hole, but not a cave in there at all. Loop around and take a look there. Now some some coal, but no cave. Looks like we got another depression showing up here, but no caves in that. See some cobble up here. So that could mean a few things. Could always be. Aha, uh -huh, it is a dungeon. The likelihood of this leading down very far is slim. But anything is better than nothing. I'm just gonna make a little stairway down. And head into the darkness that is this dungeon. Oh, that's a kind of useless dungeon. That's weird, though. I almost feel like this dungeon has a, a past. There's a history to it. Or not. Hmm. Just odd that a dungeon would have a stairway that goes nowhere. Alrighty then. Back back on the hunt for a cave and now the really lame part about this is I'm gonna need a lot of lava so it's gonna be a lot of trekking back and forth now on the upside I can always just go to my home once I get the lava but uh, outside of that it's gonna require my walking to lava unless I can teleport to it that might be an option. I'll have to check. If I can just write the coordinates down so I know where I'm going. I can just teleport there and then teleport to my home. Possibly. It's a potential, but I don't know if I have teleport ability. What is this? 
Looks like a cave with the water feature. I could just tin, I think, so there's not much point in that. Um, does it go anywhere, though? Nope. Nope, doesn't go anywhere. It's as pointless as holes come. And evidently, uh, it also turns out to be quite the death trap. Fortunately for me, I will just take this out. And swim right out. Okie dokie. We need to get around here. I'm heading right towards all these people. Wait, this is the direction I should be traveling. Uh, I'm not going to find a cave anytime soon. Well, this is lame. I need a cave with lava. And to my understanding, I'm going to need eight lava. Because it said the lava needs to surround the obsidian. I, I actually Googled it and found the form topic. And that is how I determined how to do it. Because it wasn't intuitive. All I knew was mm, it needs to be placed on obsidian, okay. Because that's how it was at uh, the spawn shop. Of course, it wasn't surrounded by lava there, and I understand why, because you don't want people coming in and. Actually, if it was protected, they couldn't do anything with it anyway, so I don't know why it would matter. But, yeah, I, I guess I see why it's not. Ooh, please be a cave that actually is of some use. So many worthless caves here. It's insane. Like, it doesn't go anywhere. It's just this little hole. So useless. I need a big cave that goes deep. Goes down to lava. Honestly, I... Probably would have been better off just digging my own hole to lava. And it's getting to the point where I may just do that. Especially as I'm now getting out to a lot of sand and water. Not much chance for caves and sand. Ooh, but, oh. I was gonna say that gives me a chance to kind of cheat and see what's underground. So I can determine if there's a lava pool down there. But I didn't think of that fast enough. So by the time it came to me, uh, yeah, the map gen had just caught up. Well, this could maybe lead someplace. Ooh. Yeah, or not. Wait, what is this? It's like a big drop off. I don't have any torches. Fortunately for me, I thought ahead and have a bunch of wood. And I still have an okay amount of coal here. So that will tide me over for a while. Alright, this is looking like looking like this is what we want. Right, I got some kind of water over here, which is fine. Water is always a good way out. Oh, but that goes deeper. That might even be better. Just fight it up a bit. Ooh, iron. Excellent. Alright, well, I'm going to grab the iron right away, because that is something I definitely need. Another one. Ah, oh, you know what? I didn't grab my. Didn't grab and bring my furnace with. I got 31 cobble that I can build in there, and that's not a problem. There 
was some coal around here. Just need to figure out where I had seen that. I like this. It keeps going. Some coal. Good, good. Some tin or something. That's kind of useless to me, but it's all right. Okay, this is perfect. This gets me a little bit lower. There the coal is. I see it now. This gets me a little bit lower, which is good. Not as much to dig through, though, to get to the good stuff. Put a torch there, knock that one out. Grab this coal and this coal. Alright, and now... To head down into the belly of the beast. That's lead. Oh, there's this coal here. I'm not sure if that is deeper. Or if this little section of water is deeper. Hmm, there's no iron. If I could find that little section of water again. Where was it? Oh, here. Okay, this water is flowing down. And I can travel down in the water. Ow, I didn't realize that was going to happen. Weird. This water just kind of ceases to flow. Alright, so not much in the way of material right here. But... is as good a place as any to start excavating down, I guess. Uh, I could just dig straight down, but that's not the safest. Because then, once you fall through, you... Yeah, you pretty much just die. And that's really uncool, so... Don't particularly want that to happen. I am going to need to... Make myself a furnace real quick here. As I am most desirous. Wait, what? How am I? What am I? No. No, I want to... What is going on? Yeah, yeah. Goofy server. Let me click on my furnace. There we go. Put some coal there. Put some iron here. I have one raw iron already, so this will give me enough to uh, make another axe. Or not an axe, a pickaxe. Which will be most useful, as I will be doing a lot of excavating. And I don't particularly want to be spending a lot of time doing that. Stash that for safekeeping. I'll use the stone pickaxe till it breaks, because it's going to be in like two or three more blocks. There's really no point in... Wait. This opens up. What? How perfect is that? Oh, yes. That is... That's phenomenal. That is so perfect. Okay. Let's do this. Now the trick course is getting down there without dying. And I'll just put one of my torches right there. Okay, now of course I don't know what's underneath anything here. Um, yeah, let's just make this path a little bit wider. I just, I don't particularly want to fall into this lava and die. Because that would be horrible. I don't even know what my cords are right now. Okay, is this something I can reach this with my... Oh, I'm going to have to dump this water out. Um, You know what? I'm just going to dig a hole right here. And pop the water in it. Okay, I have a lava bucket. I'm going to go ahead and look at my cords here. And I'll probably just type them down on my laptop. Here, negative one one four six. 
negative 35 or negative 670. Negative 670. All right. And then I'm going to head home. Now, I don't know if I can harvest this and get that seed back. I really hope so. Oh. Of course I wouldn't. Great. Well, because see, here's the thing. I can't go pouring lava around a block of obsidian on a wooden floor. Because <clears throat> I'm assuming... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm assuming at least that would pretty much burn the house to the ground. Which I don't particularly want to do. So here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to make like this... This lava feature in the middle of my house. It'll be all the rage in a few years. Just give it time. Just give it time. Okay, and to do that, I'm going to need a hole that's 4x4. Four four. And then I'm going to need some normal cobble. Which I could have sworn I just put here. Oh, there it is. And we'll do a perimeter of cobble. Because the cobble won't burn. And I feel like I feel like that's not big enough. Cause it's not. Okay, so we'll do this, and we'll do this, and we'll do this. This is totally safe for little kids and pets. I can't imagine anything safer than having a lava feature. So then we're gonna throw the obsidian there. We'll dump lava there. I might be able to get by with just four lava. I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to try to teleport. So TP, negative 146, negative 35, negative 670. Mmm, good. And you have command. Super cool. Add areas, blah blah blah. Areas, grant help home, ice and freeze, join chaos, login, list stairs, map breaks, blah 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 blah. Spawn and set home. Ooh. What's all, what are all these TP things? TPY, TPR, TPN, TPHR. Help, TPY. Accept teleport request from another player. Yeah, not trying to do that. <coughs> hmm. Help. Well, I shouldn't have to type. Let's try help. T P H R. Leave player name empty to see help message before us. Nope. Don't want to do that. Uh, let's see here. T P N. Ah. Deny, and then TPY is yes. Super. Super. So I don't have an option to teleport. Man. Oh, you know what? I think I'm an idiot. I could have set home right here. Oh. So not only... Did I lose an obsidian seed thing? And that was nine crystals. Nine crystals. Man. That's lame. Well, uh. Yay. Yay, I guess. Well, it's going to be super boring if you guys watch all of this, so I'm just going to end up doing all this off camera. And get some more lava and get this filled up and chop a bunch more trees and get all that money again so I can get a new crystal seed because I didn't realize that was going to happen. So next time we meet, the lava feature will be complete and I'll probably just have the crystal already sitting on there. I don't really see any point in... You watching me buy it at the store, it's the same way as you buy anything else. 
Thanks for watching my video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would you consider giving it a thumbs up? I appreciate all those I can get. I'm on social media, peoples. Follow me. Google+, Twitter, Facebook. I always post all of my videos on those platforms, or links to my videos on those platforms, as soon as they go live. Which this means prior to the release on YouTube. You can watch them before anybody else. You can also visit my website, NathanSalfat.com, and see all my videos there. Really nice website, if I do say so myself. I did design it, so I might be a little bit biased, but I still think it's it's decent. If there is a mod you would like me to review, just click on the Request Review button right there. It takes a two form on my website. You just type in the information, hit the Submit button. I get it. I look at it. Record a review. Post it online. You watch. We all profit. The world's a better place. Yeah, I don't know about that last bit. But, hey, do it anyways. There's You got nothing to lose. I'll catch you next time.